this is your problem most likely right here this is a little coil and especially if you've gotten water on it um, it'll short that coil out Let's start with that first um, some guys like to solder them in there like that I don't what I do is I cut the uh, cage away a pair of little snippers here and you got to be careful getting in there too because this uh, circuit board it has it's multiple layers it's like six layers of stuff in there and you can just nick it and uh, totally run it you can make this thing into a uh, an iPod instead of an iPhone so basically I don't know if you can see this it's hard to do this uh, basically what you're going to do is you're just going to take and kind of cut a little cage away in a couple spots and you can see there's a place where it's connected right there it's soldered right there so just bust that thing away there you go and look at that nice nice access to the coil there easy access so you don't have to mess around with uh, getting this thing uh, stuck in there and solder all over the place so actually to do this I'm going to show you a little I actually need a little flux Got a little flux pin just kind of flood it it's not going to kill it you're going to clean it up anyway that's a little flux pin to use You can hear it sizzling, it sounds like bacon. I don't know if you can see this right or not, it's hard to do this, one person. We're gonna bust. You gotta be kinda careful too, because there's these little pads, copper pads that these things sit on. You see it kinda lift up there? That's one side. And then just kinda push it down. You can see the coils kinda come apart. And just kinda hold your soldering iron on the other little post that it's on need to add more flux that always helps Actually, it's funny you add solder to it and it helps it to help it flow you can clean it up when you're done anyway. Okay, so there you go. That's the old coil off right there. And this is what you're kind of looking at right here. Let me zoom in. You can see, see the little two little tabs where it was. Right there and right there. So it still has a little bit of solder on it. And basically, what you do. Here's the old coal, by the way. It's it's just a little teeny tiny little wire wrapped around there a couple times. That's all it is. It's a coil, just like it sounds like. So this. Let's see. We got. Ah, here we go. There's the coil right there. So what you want to do also too. Just kind of clean up your area that you're working on. There's way too much solder on there. Uh, you want to get this little wick stuff here. This is a copper wick. Uh, you just kind of put it on that and put the heat to it, and it'll take up any if you, you know, you just happen to get a bunch of extra solder on there, like too much. So I'm going to put a little tab on there. Just enough to go to think. It doesn't really take very much, actually. It's a pretty small piece, so anyhow. Keep my tip nice and clean. Look how nice and shiny that thing is. <clears throat> Let's see. So this is the part that's actually a little on the tedious side. Doesn't make a difference which way you have this thing on there. Doesn't make a difference if it says 6R8 or 90 or, <laughs> or upside down, whatever it reads. Now I'm doing this with uh, without a magnifying glass or anything like that. But what I bought, this is what I got when I first started. It's lighted, and uh, you can actually just stick it out. You can just lay it down in front of it like that and kind of see what you're doing. It's not too bad, really. 
but this is what I ended up getting right here. This nice little triocular telescope or microscope here it makes it a lot easier to do, but it can be done the other way. It can be done with just the light and I don't know, I got my eyes are almost 60 years old, so maybe if yours are younger, you could do it with younger eyes. So anywho, so what I've got here is I've got this coil and you got to kind of put it in place the two, well let me show you this too in case you didn't see this. I don't know if you can see this right here. Okay, there's these two little metal pieces right here There's on each end. They just stick down a little bit. It's that little coil. It's wrapped around. That's the bottom of it. So each of these is just going to solder on either side of this uh, little pad right here. The solder's kind of sticking up high over here. So basically, it's, it doesn't have to look pretty. It's just got to be soldered on there. It's not. We're not trying to go for any beauty contests here. What you're trying to do is just save yourself. I don't know whatever it costs, a hundred something bucks to take it into a regular shop. I do the repairs myself here. And I charge sixty dollars to do it. If you're in the states and I and I give you ship it to me, I ship it back to you repaired. And it could also be it might not be your coil too. It's a possibility it could be your, your actual LCD itself. So I check that out before I do make the other repair. If it's just your LCD, we do the same thing. Okay, so basically I've got that there. I'm gonna hold, give it a little pressure, hold it down. I'm just going to put my soldering iron over here. Let it melt that solder in that back pad. It just falls right on there. Same thing, this is a kind of a flat one. Turn it flat. Put it on there. It'll just heat the solder in that pad and as you're giving a little pressure down there, boom. It just sets right on there. I'll turn my solder iron off. And that's it for that. That's the repair done right there. It's not really that complicated. Um, that was done, you know, without even a magnifying glass. So it can be done. The, really, the main thing is just having a halfway decent uh, soldering iron. Uh, but you can get some, uh, as long as you can get a, a fine tip on that thing. I don't know if you can see um, how fine this tip is. But that's what you need. You need a fine tip on that thing to do it, not a real fat one. Uh, Some place where it's going to kind of concentrate it. And make sure your tip's real clean too. So that's right there. That's that right there. Um, the next thing to do is we'll just go ahead and reassemble it. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. We'll, 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 uh, we'll see, what it, uh, see what happens when we plug it back in. And uh, we should have, uh, the backlight should be fixed. So let me go ahead and pause this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pause. I'm not gonna do. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, show you redoing this whole thing because you don't need to see that. We'll put it all back together and then uh, we'll see what uh, what happens when we fire it up. Okay. Okay, there it is all installed back in there. You can see with the cage on there, you can't even see that you t you cut that part of the cage off of it. In fact, here's one that I did. I was doing. I don't know what else I was doing on this. I think I just went kind of a little crazy. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to show you too. This is, you have to be careful when you cut that that thing uh, uh, that cage off there. I kind of nicked the motherboard here, so when I nicked that motherboard, it uh, it didn't like it. So I basically this is uh, luckily my phone. It wasn't somebody's phone I was repairing. This is this is one of those ones that you uh, learn as you go. And uh, I got these things in here. These little nippers in there. I got them in there pretty good and kind of. Kind of nip that board, so uh, I ended up in fixing it. What I did is I just had to kind of to sand away to where it exposed all the the different layers so they weren't touching each other, and then I put some lacquer on it to cover it. But uh, this one's working fine now, and I'm going to put this one back on the board. But so let me go ahead and put the uh, LCD back in there. And if you guys too seriously, when you're taking off that LCD, uh, you don't need to pry to get the little suction things. That's the best deal. This is a nice one. 
but uh, they uh, I had a little one it was just like look like a little suction ring that you stick on a window that you stick it on there take the screw two screws off when you put it on the deal I'll put it on the bottom part here kind of by the butt and you just kind of rock it back and forth on this and it'll it'll pop up it's so much easier than trying to use a pry tool to do that uh, I don't even know why they'd even give you a pry tool to try to take those things apart so anyway let me pause this thing and I'll put it back together and we'll fire it up and see what happens okay all right so it's all put back together we're gonna hold the button down let's make sure see what happens here there we go it's gonna fire up check it out takes a little while for these things to fire up so There we go. <laughs> it seems like when you wait for it, it takes a long time. So there. Okay, anyway. Like I said, I sell the coils on eBay. There's my ID. My eBay ID is Tinner, T I N N E R 105. And I have an email too. It's uh, Tinner105 at roadrunner.com. Now I sell the coils on the. Uh, Auctions in Great Britain and in the United States. I sold a few hundred of them, like over 300 right now. I have a few thousand left to go. I think I have like, I just bought 500 or something from another guy too, so I bought some people out. So if you want to buy the coil or if you need any help uh, doing it, you can use the video. I also have a little PDF file that I can send you to. That's whether you get a coil from me or not. It kind of shows you how to take the, the thing apart too. Um, Really, it's not that complicated. It's uh, it just seems a little overwhelming. Just uh, be careful when you put it back together and go on the internet. There's plenty of good videos out there on the internet, high quality ones too, on uh, how to take the uh, 3GS apart. So uh, I guess that's well, I guess that's it. Uh, fix it yourself if you can. If you can't, send it to somebody else. Like I say, I do the repairs too. I charge 60 bucks for the pairs. Um, if you're in the states, because trying to do it from another country, send it in here. It's just a big pain in the hiney with customs and everything. So if you're in the states, or Canada, or something like that, uh, go ahead and uh, contact me at uh, my email, tenor105 at uh, roadrunner.com. And uh, what I'll do is uh, you mail it to me. I'll fix it, and then I'll send you a little invoice for sixty bucks. You pay it, I ship it back to you, and that's it. Your phone is fine. Just make sure, if you can, I'd back up all my information, because you never know what's going to happen, and you don't want to have your personal stuff on there anyway, so um, back up your stuff um, on your computer before you send it. Like I said, i got plenty of little coils here. They're kind of small and tedious to work with, but you can do the repair. It's not, not that big of a deal. I mean, you don't have to have this, you know, big uh, tracker, uh, you know, two thousand dollar <laughs> microscope here. I just happened to get a good deal on it. That's the only reason I got it. I didn't, didn't pay no two grand for it. No way. Anybody that knows me knows how frugal I am. And that's that's actually how I started working on these things too. I'm not a big electronics whiz. I'm a ten knocker. That's what my ten or one five. I uh, do air conditioning duct work. I bang it around. It calls ten knockers. So uh, my phone messed up, and I just uh, I just can't see paying somebody to do something I can do myself and. That's how I got, kind of got into it. Now I got motherboards laying all over the place and all kinds of stuff and, you know, another little hobby. So anyway, that's it. Uh, good luck with your repairs. If uh, Hey, and even, listen, if even if you, uh, you know, I don't care if you buy the coil from me or not. I, I, I'm i not, uh, I make money on the coils. Yeah, it's a profit thing. Uh, I don't make a lot of money on them. And, uh, but even if you need help, uh, you don't buy a coil from me, that's fine. Email me. I will be happy to send you that PDF file. Just, uh, you know, to help you no matter what. I don't care if you get it from me or not. I'm just, you know, I started this to help myself, but I don't mind helping other people. I'm, you know, you make a little money, but you, you got to help people out too. So, all right, and that's about it. So you guys have a nice night, day or whatever it is, and uh, I hope this helps somebody.